the product, the process, the people, ethos decorum. My name is Janelle and I'm a painter. Did you always want to be a painter? Um, I don't know if I was going to be a painter, but I definitely was always going to be an artist. Like I never, I think since I was about three years old, I was never going to be anything other than an artist. Uh, that was never in my mind. Yeah, I just always loved to draw, I always loved to make things. Anyway. <laughs> you have a very distinctive style. You use a lot of brown, gold, red. How would you describe your style? Um, I would describe it as, well, so I, I paint in a subtractive manner. So when you think of painting, in most cases, people are adding paint to to build volume or build something that is looks three-dimensional on a two-dimensional, you know, surface. I paint subtractively, so it's almost like um, a chiaroscuro charcoal drawing where you're subtracting or erasing away the, the, um, the color on the front. So I usually, I start with a base color, which is usually like a metallic color, and then I'll start with another color on top and I'll either etch into it with an embossing needle or I'll uh, use a rag with paint thinner or my brush to take away the top layer and expose what's underneath to create form. How would you describe your subject matter? Um, or how do, you, how do you choose your subject matter? I think it just comes to me, <laughs> uh, for sure. I, I collect Im imagery, um, a lot of photographs. I have this huge just library on several computers and my phone, um, screenshots, images I like, magazine cutouts, old photographs, uh, old family photographs, photographs of people that I don't really know from like thrift stores, and I kind of just collect all this imagery. Um, and it's just stashed, <laughs> you know, in different places in different folders. And then once you start collecting, you know, all of this, I guess, content, you kind of realize what you gravitate towards. And then that kind of, whatever I'm gravitating towards, it usually, there's usually a pattern. Um, and I kind of know what's, what's next for me. When are you most creative? Um, I'm most creative, I would say, uh, when I have a lot going on and I just need to kind of outlet. <laughs> um, when I kind of need to decompress, that's always a good time. Yeah. So you paint a lot of black women in motion. Mm -hmm. How do you choose what you, you want to paint? Um, I think it kind of goes back to what I was saying before. It's kind of whatever I, gra I um, gravitate towards, um, whatever the universe is kind of putting in, in, um, in my space. Um, I paint a lot of women, uh, a lot of black women for sure. And I think it has a lot to do with, you know, me growing up and looking at my mother and my grandmother and my aunties and um, wanting to be that, but I just, I, uh, black women are just so beautiful. What's next for you as far as in your career for painting? Or where do you see yourself going next? Um, I see myself, I don't know, there's so many possibilities. Um, I do want to do um, kind of a continuation of my my last series from a couple years ago called Hear Stories. So I kind of want to expand upon that um, and kind of make it a collaborative effort where you know I can take other people's hear, you know, stories um, and and create from that as well. Um, but really, what I would really love to do would be, because I do enjoy my commission work a lot, I would really love to do, you know, my own work when I want to, but I also want to be like, it sounds kind of corny, but I, there are certain clients that I have that like I'm kind of their personal artist and I do, I don't do everything. Like I don't go and do everything. I don't, you know, paint your walls, but I'm your, I'm your go-to. So like if you have a wedding, like I can live paint at your wedding. If you have children, like I'm doing your pieces of your children. I'm doing like faux work in your house. And I'm just kind of like making you part of your family, you know? Um, that's what I really love to do because it's all about connecting with people. So if they feel me and they feel my artwork and they feel, you know, they have, you know, artwork that I've done in their homes, like those are my children, those are my babies, you know? Um, I like to be in their lives. So I would love to have an extended 
family of that and do my own artwork. Thank you.